Okay, now our third color, I'm going to use something a little more contrasting so you can see it better. And also, you don't want it too matchy-matchy. You want to, you know, you want to have some contrast in here. Um, a really cool way to do your colors is a, in rainbow order. You know, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. And have them blend in and out, those colors blend in, in and out. And it really has a really cool effect. So we're going to join our stitch like we did before in the bottom chain. And we're going to chain 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, I wove my tail in as I made my chain on this one. Okay, go into the fourth chain from the hook. Double crochet across. Now I have to tell you, if you're not going to do the fringe after you, each color you do, it'd be a good idea to draw your tails in then, because when you're finished, you're not going to. It's very tedious to draw in all the tails. That's what I, I like about doing the fringe on the one end. Okay. Just draw it behind there. Okay. Now we've got. Six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. Slip stitch into the top of the chain. Draw up a loop. Draw it through. That's a slip stitch. Chain three. We're working on the second step of this color. We go in the top of the double crochet in the little V. Double crochet. Do that across each stitch on this one. One more. So each step is six stitches wide. You can do these sti these steps wider if you want with more stitches in them or you can do them shorter with three or four. It all just it all comes out with a different effect. Okay? Now I'm going to slip stitch to make the third step. The third color has three steps, the fourth color has four steps and so on. So that's kind of how you know if you're doing it right. And chain three. And double crochet into the V. And this fabric will have a right side and a wrong side because we're having the right side facing at all times. We don't turn our work on this one. And you just keep adding your colors and your scraps as you go in the same manner until you get it the width that you want for a blanket or a pillow or a shawl or whatever the width is you want. And if you want to make it a, a stair step scarf, you can either do it so that your stairs are all three wide or you can do it so that it goes this direction. So you would just keep going until you have it the length of the scarf. And then when you get it as wide as you want, I will show you in the next video how to stop keeping it from growing. And when you do that, you're going to join in the top of your chain instead of the bottom. But we'll show you that in the next video.